What's up viewers? Earlier in this video, we learned how to access a switch via web GUI, which is a graphical user interface. In that case, we actually knew what the IP was, which was the default IP, 192.168.1.10. But what would you do? How would you access a switch if you don't know what the IP is? Find out in this video. To do this, we need a few accessories. This serial cable, this is the one that comes with the box. The other thing that we need is a USB to serial RS-232 adapter. These are fairly cheap, $10, $15, very good investment. And now let's go ahead and connect. Using the male end on the adapter, connected to the female end on the serial cable. Just screw it in like this. And now take the male end of this serial cable and connect it to the female end, which is on the switch and simply take the USB connector and plug it into a USB port of your laptop. And now let's access the switch. First, we wanna install a software that's gonna help us connect to the switch. This software is called Putty. Simply search Putty on Google. Click on the first link, download here. And my computer is a 64 bit, so I'm gonna install that one. Simply click here and once you're at this page, hit next, next, install and finish. And this is a readme file with the instructions, but you can go ahead, close that. Once we have the program, go ahead, open the program. But before we do this, there's one more setting that we like to see. We like to see what COM number it's assigned. So to do that, you go to start, go to device manager. Once you're at the device manager, go ahead and click on ports and it should tell you a COM number right there. It's, this is COM3 in my case, it's not always gonna be COM3, it might be different for you. So it says ATEN USB to serial bridge COM3. I'm gonna make a note of that and I'm gonna use that information when accessing PuTTY. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm in my PuTTY configuration. Go ahead and click on serial. And right here, that's where we're gonna replace that number with that we just saw in the device manager. So mine was COM3. And I'm gonna change the speed as well to 115200. And I'm gonna go ahead and click open and there's a black box that comes up. All you simply do is hit enter and you're in the switch. Again, the login is root and there's no password. Hit enter and you're in the switch. We just learned how to access the switch via serial console connection. In this case, we did not need to know what the IP was. All we needed was a serial cable with the USB adapter, plug it in the laptop and we're able to get into the switch. As always, thank you for watching. Let's make it happen with that zero distance.